Hello, hello, hello. Hi, Ashley. Hi, Caitlin. Hi, Jean. Hi, Sarah. Hi, Sandra. Hi, Ariel. I'm going to try and read all your guys' names as best I can. So, okay, this is going to be more of a tutorial than a live video. So, I probably won't be able to get to all of your questions while we're doing this. Um, just because I kind of have to partly pay attention to what I'm doing. Um, okay, so we're going to be working on bookmarks today. I have to make 120 of these bookmarks um, for an event that I am going to. So I have been making a lot. <laughs> so I don't know if you guys can see. This is what I've been doing. Um, and there's so much fun because you can really just like test out different colors and different like epoxy additives. So I've been having a great time. I'm going to say if you guys can't watch this whole live, I will save this to the channel so you can watch it later. Okay. Hi, Diane. So these are the ones that I've created <laughs> so far. I mean, I've been just like going crazy with them. This one's really pretty. So I'm going to show you guys today how I do this. It's super simple, super easy. Um, the mold and all most of the products I'm using today will be linked in the description box below. I got this one on Amazon. I will have a link to it. This is a five um, five point five inch bookmark mold, and it does have the little dingling there, so you can. Um, have a hole up there if you want to put a tassel in later, which I'm going to do. I have to source some tassels for a good price because I need 120 of them. I just haven't done that yet. Here's one I did the other night. So much fun. So anyway, we'll go ahead and get started. I haven't even mixed epoxy yet, so we're just going to really start from square one. So I hope you guys are doing well. Normally I would release a tutorial on Wednesday, but I had to get a new phone. And so since I was waiting on my new phone, I didn't have time to uh, film like a normal produced video. So I figured, okay, well my new phone will be here on Wednesday. I'll do the live on Wednesday. <laughs> oh, thank you, Ashley. It's kind of, just ragged. I don't have a very good looking uh, workspace. Or I guess I should say it's not very fancy. But um, it gets messy, so I don't know if I would be able to handle anything fancy. Okay, so the epoxy that I'm using today is um, counterculture DIY medium viscosity. Um, the reason I'm using medium viscosity is because it's thinner than their normal stuff. I do not like their normal epoxy resin because it's too thick and I'm not a fan of thick epoxy. So I talked to them about it and they sent me this stuff to try out and so far I'm like totally obsessed with it. So I've been like using it on everything. Um, while I'm mixing epoxy, I thought I would answer some questions if you guys had any questions for me. <clears throat> I've been getting a lot of questions on my um, respirator lately, my organic vapor respirator. If you guys are in the market for an organic vapor full face respirator, um, you might be out of luck until the... Can you use the medium viscosity for cups? Yes, Ashley, you can. So, I've been trying to find a source for masks for you guys because I get asked that question probably like two, three times a day about my mask. Um, I cannot find a solid source for masks right now. So, 
I don't know where um, I got mine from a friend of mine at Honeywell as a gift so I don't even know where to direct you to get one <clears throat> so I just wanted to address that really quick because I, I feel really bad that I can't link a, a mask for you guys oh thank you Jessica I made a live I looked on Amazon and it is sold out. Yeah, the masks, they're sold out everywhere. I mean, I can't even find them on like industrial sites because mine is an industrial strength um, mask. So, I mean, I looked all over. I just can't find one. But yeah, the um, this isn't done yet, but this is the medium viscosity on a cup. The medium viscosity counterculture DIY is amazing I don't know why I slacked so long on trying it well I guess I just didn't even think about it and then like they had contacted me and they're like have you thought of trying this since you like Illumilite so much and I was like no I have not um, but I'm glad I tried it cuz it is the bomb uh, my Harbor Freight donated all their PPE yeah, pretty much any company, I guess, that has the stuff right now has been donating it. I mean, I was like, I can't find the stuff anywhere. Do I prefer that over a Lumalite? You know what, Heather, I don't, I can't give you a solid answer on that yet. I really do like a Lumalite because I've been using it for two years. Um, and it's always been good to me. Um, but I've been using this um, CC DIY medium viscosity for a week now and I I'm almost convinced that I might fully switch which is says a lot because you guys know I'm like a die-hard Illumilite fan because I didn't know which was oh thank you Jessica I got a lot of glitter all right, so this is almost done. When you guys are mixing these, you wanna mix low and slow. I use one of these like stainless steel stir stick, coffee stir stick things. I have these in my Amazon shop, which I will have linked below once this video is done and saved to the channel. If you go to any of my other videos, you can probably find a link to my Amazon shop where you'll find, find this, you'll find the bookmark molds, most of the stuff I'm using today will be in there. I should have my respirator on right now, but I'm in a big open garage and I need to talk to you guys, so I can't really wear my respirator while I do that. Um, so don't turn me into the safety police. Where do I get my cup turners and inserts? Marquetta, we um, we make our we make all of our turners and we make all of our arms. So we will probably do a tutorial about this, but these are what my arms look like. This is just a pool noodle um, and a three quarter inch PVC pipe and a fitting that fits onto my cup turners that we made. Um, and I have different sizes of noodles that I use depending on like the cup that I have. So when summer comes out, if you guys want the same, if you don't already have pool noodle arms, when summer comes, go out and buy every size noodle you can find because you can't find those suckers year round. I tried during the winter and I had to pay like $7 for one noodle. So buy up those noodles in the summer when you see them. Get different sizes, different stores carry different sizes. Like Dollar Tree has different sizes than Walmart and Fred Meyer, whatever. You get what I'm saying. All right, so I've mixed up 30 milliliters of epoxy and I'm gonna bring you guys down so you can see what we're doing. Lowe's had them all year in their garden area. But Donna, did they have the different sizes? Because I found them at Lowe's too, but I could only find oops, this super thin one. And I, I can only use this super thin one on a couple of kinds of cups.
anyway. All right. So I'm going to bring you guys down here so you can see everything I'm doing. A few sizes. Oh, okay. Well, I'll have to check it out. See what they got. So I'm just laying some parchment paper down so I don't make a mess. I was going to tape it down, but probably not. All right. So if you guys are mixing uh, 30 milliliters of epoxy, that should be enough to fill two of these. Um, the set that I have in my Amazon shop, they sell these in sets of eight. Um, and it only takes 15 milliliters of epoxy to fill one of these guys. And they it creates a pretty thick size bookmark, okay? So I'm going to bring you down here and then we'll start mixing all of our colors and additives. Let me get some more medicine cups. Okay. Here we go. Hope you guys can see okay. Okay. Alright, so what I like to do before I get too crazy is um, divide up about like five or six different um, cups depending on like how crazy I'm getting um, and how many different like components I want in this because I want to do usually like one mica, one gold leaf or like thick leaf kind of situation. I've got some gold leaf here. And then I'll do like one kind of a paint and then I'll do a couple different kind of glitters. Okay, so I want to have like a little bit of each kind of component. Um, if you guys want to mix spray paint into your epoxy like I do for my marble video, you can use uh, spray paint in your epoxy in these bookmarks. You'll just want to make sure that you just do a little bit of spray paint. Too much spray paint your epoxy will not cure, okay? So, okay, we're gonna divide up this stuff here. And I just divide up like five milliliters or so into each pot. If you're gonna do something like spray paint or a paint color in one of these, you'll wanna do more in a couple of your cups. So in a couple cups, you'll add a little more epoxy than you would some of these other ones, okay? So I think for this one, I'll show you guys how I do like this kind of look here with the purple and the iridescent. So for that, I use this confetti glitter. This is like that cheap, um, like snow stuff that they have it. I think you could get it at Michael's, maybe even Walmart. This is like a really thick cut confetti snow stuff, almost like what they use for snow scenes around Christmas. Um, and then I'll use a little bit of golden adder from Simply Sarah's Micas. And then we'll use a little bit of white epoxy dye. This is just the Illumilite kind. Um, and then I'll use Barney from PTL of Glitters, Firefly PTL of Glitters, and 112 also PTL of Glitters. Might even use a little Quinn PTL of Glitters. <laughs> All right, so let's mix this stuff up. So for the mica, I'll pick the smallest amount poured out of all of the ones that I have and just kind of dump a small amount in there. Okay. Look at how pretty this golden adder is. I wish you guys could see on camera. My lights are probably too bright. This golden adder, oh my gosh, it's so pretty. Let's 
see if I could show, look at this. See, is that like that iridescent green? It's got some thick particle sparkles in there. Very pretty. Okay, and then the white epoxy dye, I don't want too much of that, so I'm just, I'm putting one drop of epoxy dye in there. Little goes a long way with this sucker. Do not put too much in. Okay. And then, and guys, in between mixing, I'm just gonna clean off my stir with a rubbing alcohol and a coffee filter so I don't contaminate my other pots. And then I'm gonna mix 112 into one of these. I'm gonna mix Barney into one of these. And fireflies. If you guys have fireflies from PG Olive Glitters and you don't care for it on a cup because of the yellow tint, put it into some molds with some purples and it's gorgeous. Like, such a pretty color. It, you don't see any of that yellow like you get on like a cup. So, just a little tidbit there, whatever. All right, so what I do, I guess I shouldn't mix these, huh? And actually, I'm going to get one more cup. And I'm going to add in little vanishing lilac mica powder also from simply sarah's micas vanishing lilac is so pretty okay sorry if i'm not seeing your comments guys hi cynthia hey kins if you're still here, I've been ignoring my comments because I'm trying to focus on what I'm doing so I don't screw this up. All right, so what I do is I take a look at what my chunkiest pieces are first and I'm not gonna mix the chunky pieces into epoxy, okay? Instead, what I'm gonna do is pour some clear epoxy into the bottom of the mold, just a little just a little smidge in there, okay? So I have a little river of just plain clear epoxy. Then I'm gonna go in with these funky, chunky pieces and like a little spoon and just sprinkle in some of these funky, chunky pieces. If I spill a bunch, <laughs> I'll just move it around, okay? Don't worry about it. And uh, these are so much fun because they're just, it's a bookmark, you know? It's not like it's gotta be some kind of crazy, amazing thing. Um, but they turn out really cool. And if you guys need help like planning some kind of new concept for your cups, this is a cheap and fun way to try out, you know, some color combinations that you might be unsure of with like very little commitment, you know what I mean? You can kind of get an idea of what, like this one for instance. I, in my mind, this color combination was gonna be so cool. So I was like, oh, I gotta get this on a cup, but I'll put it on a bookmark first. Well, come to find out, it wasn't very cool. <laughs> and I didn't like it. So I'm glad that I just tried it in the bookmark first, um, you know. Whatever, you get what I'm saying. All right, so then I'm putting in some Quinn. 
This is a ch super chunky glitter from PGL Glitters. So I've got my little river of clear epoxy. I've got all my chunky, funky bits. And then I'm gonna start pouring in some of my glitters. Um, you don't really have to have a whole lot of rhyme or reason to this. You could just pour it in. If you have paints or additives, I, I like to do the paints last. So like my micas and my dyes, I'll put in last, okay? Then I'm gonna come in with a little bit of this 112. Other reason why I like this medium viscosity for these book, these little molds is because it's like thinner. I feel like those bubbles escape easier through all this like mess that we're putting in here. Um, I'm no expert or anything, but I just feel like maybe that thinner epoxy is easier to deal with than these. All right, and then I'll come in with the uh, fireflies. Put that in there. And then start putting in my additives. So the additives, I don't wanna gloop in there like I am the glitters. I kinda wanna drizzle it lightly if you were doing like veining with a super metallic, if you wanted like a veined marble look, you could use like a silicone brush to tie it in rather than just drizzling it like I am. But I'm going for more of like a galaxy look, I guess, so I don't really care what, what I got going on there. Okay, and then I'll do the lilac, vanishing lilac. And then the white dye, I'm gonna come in and do just a little bit from behind. Not a whole lot. And then I'll just kind of like, uh, once I have all the different components in here, I'll start kind of swirling it around a little bit. Careful not to disrupt that chunky, funky mess that you put down there in the beginning because you don't want them poking up, okay? That's what you don't want. See, I got one big chunky, funky mess right here that's really poking up. So I'm just gonna take that one out completely because that's going to bug me. If you were doing a, like a gold leaf situation, like with the rose gold gold leaf or whatever, you'll mix it into epoxy and then drizzle your epoxy with the crushed up gold leaf in there. you'll do that in that first layer where you did that chunky, funky stuff, okay? So I'm just swirling my dye around so it doesn't look like I just dumped this stuff in here. And I still have some room, so I'll just come in and scoop out like every last remaining nugget of epoxy in these suckers <laughs> until I fill this all the way up, okay? And you guys, I really, I only mixed 30 milliliters of epoxy and I still have this much left over. Okay, so your glitter takes up some volume too uh, in the mold. It's not all just 
straight epoxy. So I'm just dumping that the remainder of the clear epoxy that I had reserved in here to fill up any space. And then what you want to do why this is wet is try to clean up the edges a little bit. Make sure you don't have any kind of like gunk hanging over the edges. So what I do for that is, if I can find it, whatever, I'll just use this. Normally I would have a utility knife out here to do this. I just scrape off any of this stuff hanging over. And you want to um, push in any glitter that's hanging off the edge also. So everything's in there nice and happy. And then um, you'll just come in with your torch and torch this really quick. So I'm going to do that. Um, like you probably want to have a silicone mat to do this with um probably not safe to use a torch on parchment paper so don't try this at home <laughs> um so get yourself a silicone mat to do this so just skip over that really quick now I'll pop all your bubbles and then you'll want to place this on a flat level surface to dry and do not mess with it for a full 24 hours. It's going to be really tempting to demold this. <laughs> so like I have a really hard time waiting the whole day, but you want to wait a full 24 hours. So then when you're done, you'll have something that kind of looks like this. So they're a lot of fun. They're super easy to make. If you're a beginner in like epoxy resin crafting, this is like a fun place to start. This one I made with um, spray paint. So the color in that is spray paint and epoxy. So yes, you can put spray paint in epoxy and it will cure nicely. Just don't use too much, okay? This one is just a mix of different pink glitters and then we've got some white epoxy dye in the back. I didn't do anything special for this to happen. It just did that on its own. Um, and then if you have some like rough edges on the side, you could, um, I just kind of scrape it off with a utility knife or you can sand it down with like a nail file. Um, and then if you wanted to be fancy and like dome these with, um, I don't know, like UV epoxy or extra epoxy, you could do that. I just figure it's a bookmark. I don't really care if it's like extra special on both sides. So I don't sell these bookmarks. I'm just making these, um, to donate for an event that I'm on the committee for. So I imagine if I did sell them, I probably wouldn't sell them for a lot. <laughs> They're so cheap and easy to make. Like I said, this is just like 15 milliliters of epoxy and like a couple cents worth of glitter and mica and dyes. Here's a really pretty dark one I did. This one has like um, black epoxy dye. It has um, some burgundy spray paint, a bunch of Simply Sarah Micas in there. It's got the copper tone. It's got some gold leaf. This is one of my favorites. So, oh, I just spilt that into wet epoxy. Awesome. Just clean that up with rubbing alcohol. So anyway, that's about it. I'm gonna conclude this uh, tutorial and this live while you guys have me here. Do you have any questions? What it, What is the real and white one? What is the red and white one? This one right here? 
This one is, um, I lost it. This one? What is my alcohol in? Uh, this is from the Dollar Tree. It's just a little acetone dispenser. Purple and turquoise are cute too. The teal and white. The teal and white one for this look right here. Um, this one I did with, uh, I actually used paint in this. And I'll show you the paint that I used. Just kidding. The paint that I used for this one's inside. But this, uh, I used Apple Barrel acrylic paint in Alcapoco mixed into my epoxy. I used white Alumalite epoxy dye. I used Simply Sarah Copper Tone Mica Powder. I use this rose gold gold leaf foil. I use peachy olive, sweet Georgia peach, and a peachy olive chunky rose gold opal, which is somewhere around here. I don't know where it is. <laughs> but this was this one was my favorite. That was like one of the first ones that I did. Can you explain the different kinds of epoxy? Um, there's so many different kinds of epoxy. I would take all day. I would think $3 max Elizabeth too, just because it's like such a little amount of um, material and stuff. So here, let me put another pair of gloves on. I'll show you close up. But, you know, like I said, I don't know that I would make these to sell. I more so would use these as a resource for planning cups and, like, experimenting with different colors and different, like, pigments and stuff. If you wanted to... Look at how pretty this is. If you wanted to make, like, um, samples of glitter for your customers this would be so easy because you could probably do three different colors in one mold and be done with it and it's only using very minimal amounts of epoxy so also kind of a cool thing have i done a cup like the teal and white and rose gold one yet brandy um i have not but I would love to. <laughs> I kind of did one in my mar my latest marble video that I did. It had similar color styles, but I think it would be fun to try, definitely. Another one of my favorites was um, this purple one. And this purple has, uh, where is it? Spray paint. So we use spray paint to color the epoxy for this one. So you guys can just get crazy with it. This was a uh, spray paint tinted epoxy. All peachy olive glitters. All right, I'm gonna go in and um, you can buy this acetone pump at the Dollar Tree. You can also find them on Amazon. I have one for acetone and one for rubbing alcohol. Okay. So everybody who's stuck around for my tutorial slash live, thank you for watching. Um, you guys are awesome. I have a great tutorial coming out on Saturday morning at 4 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. It's my shiplap geo tutorial. Um, there's a ton of shiplap tutorials out there right now, but this is my shiplap style. It's totally different um, than the ones that are going around right now. It's kind of like an aged barnwood look, so I'm really excited for that. 
Um, if you guys don't already follow me on Instagram, go follow me on Instagram, Flynn Sisters Boutique. Um, we do most of our announcements and stuff on Instagram. So if you ever wanna know when we're gonna have a new tutorial out, if you wanna know what I'm working on for the week, I am mainly on Instagram, okay? So I will see you guys, well my video will see you guys Saturday morning and I will be in the comments section sometime late Saturday morning to answer any questions you guys might have. So I appreciate you guys. I love all of my subscribers. If you're new to my channel, hit subscribe, hit the bell button so you don't miss my tutorial that's releasing on Saturday. Um, and we upload twice a week. So by hook or by crook, I will be here <laughs> twice a week. Um, Wednesday, we might do more lives than we do produced videos um, during this COVID-19 craziness because I have three kids to homeschool now. So <laughs> I'm a little bit busier, um, but we will be around still twice a week, no matter what, okay? So I love you guys. I'm going to go eat some dinner and I will see you later. Thank you.